Alright nerds, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Um, with this series, I don't seem to be having the best of luck when it comes to like corrupt footage and like footage not recording properly or whatever, but I had an absolute nightmare when I was trying to edit some episodes and found that basically I went down to uh, the Deep Ground Reef and found the next Degassi base which was my first thing since I could you know get down really deep and all of that stuff uh, I don't have the footage for so um, yeah I had a bit of a rage uh, um, but what I'm basically going to have to do is I've got part of the end of it because basically what happened is I got my Seamoth destroyed by a bunch of fucking horrible giant brain crab squiddy things and warpers fucking me about uh, and I had to rebuild my Seamoth again and then go back down there to finish it off and get one of the items that I missed which uh, I have the footage for that bit but not all the sort of like me f first finding the base and explaining what's going on and exploring this base so in a uh, true fashion I'm going to um, freaking basically do a bit more now and sort of re-record that uh, so yeah but first what I'm gonna do is make myself a flashlight because the base down there flashlight oh, I need glass don't I so yeah it's very dark down there and when you're walking around the base you can't really see anything especially how I've known how dark and crap it comes up by looking on YouTube so I'm going to build myself a little flashlight to take with me and yeah I'm going to bugger off to um, the deep ground reef and then show you guys how to find this base so I'll see you in a bit alright so here we go starting to go down into the ground reef been here a few times now and uh, to get to this base what I'm aiming for if I remember rightly I go super deep and round towards the right I believe I need to just keep going down and right and I'm pretty sure I will bump into it so let's keep going down and down as much as we can and once we sort of go under, so we're fully into the cave part of it, it becomes the uh, the deep Grand Reef as opposed to just the Grand Reef. And uh, that's when stuff starts to get a bit creepy. So we'll start to find warpers and hear these horrible noises from the crab squid things. Oh, look, I think we've just found it. Yep, this is this is the Degasi base, and this is where I got owned. Well, my Seamoth got owned by uh, these horrible bastards. These things um do that. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah. So, but as you can see, they it's basically an EMP, and uh, it just conks out my Seamoth. It's alright though, because it does work again after a sec. But a combination of the warpers teleporting me out of my Seamoth uh, and the crab squids attacking my Seamoth was basically too much for it. I came out after exploring the base and my Seamoth just wasn't there anymore. Oh my god. Fucking warper. Yeah, so I don't know if he teleported me or teleported the Seamoth, but either way. It's horrible. So I'm going to turn the light off. Uh, oh, stop it! You asshole! But yeah, anyway, the crab's good thing seems to have buggered off. But it turns out you can scare them away by firing stuff at them with the uh, propulsion cannon. But I seem alright for now. Can't seem to see one anymore. Let's make sure my Seamoth's still in good nick. I don't need to fix it up again. Let's get in it and have a look. Yeah, it's 100% health. So that's good. 
Let's get away from this warper. And let's go and have a look in the base and show you around. So, let's get my flashlight out. It's a bit better. Right, so this thing here was a scannable item that I scanned. And it is the uh, thing that you can put the eggs in and basically get your own uh, get your own big fishies. There was a data box in here. God, I hate those warper noises. So yeah, there's a load of stuff to scan. There's PDAs and stuff in here. This new chair, I don't know if, I think that was a new type of chair. Uh, still got loads of oxygen. So yeah, after that, it was a case of going down here. If, if I can. I'm not bloody stuck again. Oh my god. I was inside it. That's pretty scary. Right. Still 100% health. So, good, good. Right, can I get in here this way? Yep, I can. Right, so another area of this place. I don't know if I've even been... Yeah, I did. So, yeah. I think I've already got that, yeah. So yeah, another data thing. I think there was a PDA in there. So yeah, there's all this good stuff. Uh, yeah, so I need to go out here again. Go back in the main entrance and go down to the bottom floor. Well, the middle floor. So, where was it? Down here again. Let's try and actually get down there this time before getting teleported. So yeah, there's loads of stuff in here. Uh, oh, what's that? No, nothing interesting. So yeah, on one of these desks there was an orange tablet. Which is like the next one up from the um, green one. No, the purple one that we had to get into the first sea base. So I now have an orange one, which I'm assuming will let me into the next sea base. Which is uh, down in the Lost River. But yeah, so there was... all oh, this is basically... Oh, bloody warper noises. So yeah, I don't know about the bottom floor, because I'm sure if I go back out here... 30 seconds. Oh, God, that's bad. Seamoth. Yeah, as you can see, when I'm out here... Oh... Uh, Go away. And I'm out here. It looks very much like there's three floors to that. Oh yeah, no, that's that one. I did go in it. Cool. Yeah, so basically, that's what this place is all about. Uh, but there was loads more of those crab squid brain things. There was like two or three of them, and they were constantly attacking my sea moth. I think now, like... I scared them off a bit because when I reboot my Seamoth I came back down here a second time to get the orange fragment because I'd missed it and that's when I kind of had a little tussle with them so I'll probably put that footage in for um, a bit later on there it is and there's a freaking crab squid guarding it and a warper. Oh, right, oh! Oh, is it trying to attack the warper? That's cool. Right, I want to try and kill this thing. Where's my propulsion cannon? Something, come here. Where are you? Come here. Did that work? No. Oh, he's running away. Come back. Come here, squid. Oh well. Didn't kill him, but he ran away. Oh, there's another one up there. Come here. Missed. Right, 
so, yeah. There's something pretty important that I missed here. At least, I'm pretty sure I did. Get lost. Ah! Uh. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Come here. Where is he? Where is he? Where does the crab thing go? Oh well. Alright, let's turn the lights off of this thing because I know they're attracted to light. So let's do that. And then get in this piece of shit. Right, so uh, that was uh, the second Degassi base. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, skip to the bit of footage from one side had my Seamoth destroyed and uh, when I came back here and went through all the PDAs and stuff like that before rebuilding my Seamoth. Hello Glitchy Fishy, what are you doing inside? Uh, come here. Oh, where'd he go? Come here you weird mess of Glitchy Fish, there you go. Oh, fucking weirdo. Uh, right, anyway, so yeah. Uh, I've got all the stuff together, I need to make, build another seam off, because well, I'm getting fucking trashed, which is so annoying. But, um, my uh, mobile vehicle bay is over at my other base, so, first of all, we might as well listen to the audio logs that I found in the other Degassi base, and I have a message, so we might as well check that one out first as well. This is LifePod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hmm. So that's another deep one. Cool. Right, anyway, let's check uh, out these. Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid. I brought you some. Is that... A leviathan? Outside. Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here. When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Fucking crazy bitch. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. 
It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! <laughs> Seek fluid intake. Mental. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. A rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, neither appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Core cool. mental. Right, cool. So that was all the audio logs from the uh, final Degassi sea base. Things didn't seem to end very well for those guys, did it? Right, so, um... Uh, right, other footage for the end of this episode. Uh, I'm not going to put in all the stuff of me rebuilding my seam off and building the upgrade things for it because it, it's not that interesting to watch. You've seen it all before and it takes forever. But in during the period while I was doing that, I uh, found a few cool, interesting things. Uh, and built a few more things for the base so I'll stick all that footage in because it's pretty cool and uh, yeah so um, yeah I'll stick cue that up now nice found my first gel sax balls and I use them for... Aha! I need to actually pick up the thing. Does it suppose mean I can grow them though? That could be very handy. Anyway. Fuck off, Warper. You and me are not friends anymore. Go away. What the hell noise is that? Oh, these are the sea treaders. How weird are you? Look at them. Weird looking things. Your weird little eyes. Oh, you tried to kick me. Little shit. Anywho, um, yeah, right, I'm going to make my uh, first aerogel now, for the simple reason 
that, I want to make my water filtration system. So I also need copper wire, and I think it was just titanium. So let's go and have a look. I think this main connector room here would be a good place to put it. I think I can put it against that wall probably. Let's have a look. Where would we be? Water filtration system. Look at this bad boy. It's huge. And it is going to cane loads of my power. So I'm probably going to want a lot more... Um, it seems to be not too bad at the moment, but it's in the night time it's going to go down loads. But yeah, so what it does is it creates uh, water and salt. So, you know, awesome. Can't really complain about that. Uh, what else do I want? I want an interior grow bed. That'd be... Oh, that's... No, I think that was an exterior one, wasn't it? Hang on. Let's have a look again. Yeah, that's exterior. That's huge. I want the interior one. Indoor grow bed. There we go. That'll fit there. And that way I've got things that grow resources in this room here. So grow bed and that. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to grow some stuff there at some point. And the stuff that I want to have growing out here. So in order to do that, I wonder if I can... Can I grow it straight on the floor? That's the question. Probably not. No, I'm going to need some kind of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? One of these, a foundation, so I need two lead. So here we go, back in here. I know I've got a few lead. So let's think. Somewhere just here is going to be good so anywhere. Foundation. Next to my base. with an exterior grow bed on top. I can put a couple on there in fact. By the look of it. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Awesome. Greg McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches. So, which one was it? Gel sac spores. I'm sure I had more. A few of them. So I'm going to grow those in one. Oh, no. Don't want you open so have some of those growing in there and I'm going to put some of these in this one not only do they look really cool because they'll light up the area around my base but also it means I have them for any time I need lubricant or rubber or any time I want to grow, um, sorry, make any of the synthetic fibres, so that's pretty awesome. Right, cool, so been a fairly successful episode, even though part of it was re-recorded and uh, didn't actually use the footage I got first time round, and you didn't see my... Uh, my sheer terror when I saw that my uh, Seamoth had been destroyed. But never mind. But yeah, we got a lot done, built some new stuff, 
found uh, the final sea base, got all the cool audio logs, found out what happened to the Degasi survivors. Uh, and yeah, so I think we've accomplished a fair bit. So uh, next episode, we'll be going even deeper and trying to go to the Lost River, which is where that next alien base is, the uh, disease research facility. Uh, I've not been to that biome yet. I've not searched the uh, Lost River. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff in there that's probably going to try and kill me. And it should be pretty freaky, but good fun. So, uh, yeah, join me for that one. As usual, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See you later, nerds. Bye. <laughs>